hardcore Iron Man, let's go. So before we max the account, I just realized that I had two bird's eggs in my bank, and just for the just for the evil chicken meme, I had to go for it. So let's see if we can get an evil chicken outfit piece before we max. Let's see if we can do it. And uh oh wait, never mind. I guess that's it. Alright, second evil chicken's egg. No, nope, no evil chicken outfit piece. Never lucky, but did we get our, got ourselves an acorn and an apple tree seed. Shout out to everyone who came over here. Like and subscribe. If you don't like the video, you're pretty much an evil human being, uh, equivalent to like Jeffrey Don. All right, the Virgin Islands, everybody's favorite place to go on vacation to. Yo, Mac, what do you have in your sack and why are you so dirty, my friend? God, that just, who wrote this dialogue? Seriously, can I have it? Can I have your cape? Yeah, 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 I'll pay you two trillion gold pieces for the Max cape. And we... Oh, I just skipped the dialogue where the wise old man and all the other people in the game are supposed to congratulate you for maxing, and I just I just skipped right over. That's pretty rough. Okay, there we go. Our second max cape. We'll use our Ava's on it. Yep, combine it, and there we go. There's the Ava's max cape and the normal max cape. Beautiful. We maxed the hardcore. You know, I probably should have gotten, like, the hardcore Iron Man armor. I'm sure that's what a lot of people do, but I just thought this fashion scape would be better. Anyways, let's use the max cape emote, as I'm sure is tradition. Ugh. Looks so good, man. I've never died on this account before. Kind of impressive if you ask me. Random clues, girl caskets, go. Easy clue, salmon or trout or whatever. Elite casket, we got a mimic. Time to open up the mimic. I don't remember, oh, personal best. Look at that, 46 seconds. This is our second mimic ever. What do we get? No new collection log slots, but uh, 500 blood runes, that's pretty solid. You know, I can add that to my collection of like, what? 500,000 blood runes, let's see. 600,000 blood runes, all right, let's go. So I've gotten this question from a lot of you over the past little while. What am I going to do once I max the hardcore? Well, we're here, we're maxed, so I think it's a perfect time to discuss our plans. I think I would really, really like to upgrade our gear. Yeah, I'd like to be looking more like this guy than this guy, honestly. So first things first, we need to do some bossing. We need to upgrade our gear. We really need to get the Dexterous Prayer Scroll from raids. Although part of me wants to just go and get a Dragon Hunter Lance before we do raids because that'll make this a hell of a lot easier. Nevertheless, I just did two solo raids and I had a really good time doing them. Usually I get burnt on it so fast but i had a good time so yeah i think we're gonna focus a lot on upgrading our gear at this point a lot more bossing as long as my internet behaves if i start disconnecting we're gonna have to go back to doing not so dangerous stuff i also want to go for as many front page high score spots on the hard cryer man high scores as i can we already have a couple uh like a giant mole and like wood cutting and mining i think soon to be crafting we're only a couple hundred thousand xp off the front page of crafting but just getting a ton of front page high score spots sounds fun and my overall goal is to get on the front page of the overall high scores on hardcore which requires me to get like 200 million more xp from where we are now so i'm sure that'll just happen naturally over time while going for everything else but yeah i mean if you guys have any other ideas for things you'd like to see me do on the hardcore i remember i mentioned something about collection log content i think that does sound like a good time and maybe we'll delve into that a little bit new personal best 31 14 over at chambers is eric that's pretty solid for me and almost 100 grammy caden time can't complain about that yeah i know it's not the most impressive solar raids time but my gear is also not the most impressive and a sub 30 is kind of my goal right now if i can hit that i can do like two solos an hour and that would be amazing so i'm doing some temperos there's a 102 fishing no i don't want to talk about the fact that i'm doing temperos okay i just want to get the fish barrel so that i can afk carump ones like really hard because the extra like 28 inventory spaces you get from that means i'll literally be able to just sit at the carump on spot for like two and a half minutes every inventory and that just sounds amazing plus you know temperos is really good fishing xp i'm getting like 55 to 60k xp per hour most of the time okay we've gotten ourselves 330 rewards permits and i believe the drop rate for the fish barrels one in 400 i know what you're thinking why don't you just go to 400 okay i'm a little bored okay okay temperos is not the most exhilarating content in the game i just want to see if i can get spooned hey a collection log slot soaked pages never gotten those here before uh pretty useless on this account i don't know what i would use a tome of water for ever <laughs> <laughs> what <laughs> like 50 in we got the fish barrel okay uh yeah, i'm glad i just stopped to do this now because we did get spooned the answer to that longing question was yes we did get spooned so now we have the fish barrel we can literally just open the fish barrel go to carambons and fish fi we got the tackle box too are we just going to get the pet as well? Can we just finish the entire log in 330 points? I mean, okay. All right, here we go. Last rewards. We, in fact, did not finish the entire collection log here. 
in the amount that we had, unfortunately, you know, I had high hopes, but you can't win them all, but we did get the fish barrel, and that is literally all that matters to me. No. No. I am so upset right now, <laughs> it's not even funny. Okay, okay, so you're probably confused right now. Yeah, I'm, I'm fishing more Karambwanji for, uh, for Karambwan fishing. I've been doing that AFK for a little while, and I got a Quizmaster. I'm not joking. I'm not joking. We got the stale baguette on the hardcore Iron Man. I'm so upset, dude, that I couldn't get this on my main, but I get it on the hardcore. Are you kidding me? All right. It's official now. We have to start going for collection log content on the hardcore because there cannot be too many uh, hardcores that actually do collection log content. And on top of that, how many of those actually have the stale baguette? I might quit the main at this point, honestly. So I've been fishing car and blondes for a while, and you get a lot of clue, uh, what are they called, clue bottles when you're doing this. I've got 10 medium clue scrolls here, and I've also got 23,000 raw car and blondes. You know, not a big deal. I fish that, like, every day. And what are we missing for this master clue? We're missing a Zami God Sword, and we're on step four. All right, I guess we'll juggle it if we get a master clue. Let's see, can we get the ranger boots? I mean, it's so easy. Ancient stole, new collection log slot, no big deal. It's just that easy. You comp bow, new collection log slot. You know, it's just so easy to get collection log slots. Three more to go. What are we gonna get? Terrible, terrible. And a new collection log slot, Shazy and Banner. Oh my gosh, no way. Well, since we accidentally got the stale bag out, I guess we might as well open these mystery boxes I've got in my bank too. You can get medium cl Are Are you fucking kidding me? We we just got a second. We just got a second stale baguette, just to prove that I'm not joking. This is probably one of the few hardcore Iron Men out there in the world with two stale baguettes. I seriously hate everything on this planet right now. I don't want to exist. Do you guys ever have those moments, you know, where something so terribly atrocious happens that you just want to, you know, just like kind of go into the nether realm for five minutes? That's me. Wait a minute. This is an absolute blessing in disguise. You know, what am I doing complaining about this? This is perfect because the fancy dress box here where you store uh, random event uniques, the stale baguette is in there. So I can put one in here to have completion, you know, and then I can have one out here. Why did it take both of them? No, I just want to take one. Thank you. And I can have one out here to uh, carry around and smack random events away with. Okay, now that we've had fun with some baguettes, I think it's time we actually started chasing just a couple gear upgrades at least. I'd... <sighs> I should put my Slayer helmet on if I'm doing Slayer tasks, huh? We've got a Black Demon Slayer task, 145 left to go. So we're going to head over to the Demonic Gorillas, see if we can claim our last Zenite shard. We just need the bracelet, the the Tormented bracelet. I remember the name. You guys should be so proud of me. And uh, that'll help a ton at raids. The damage increase from that thing is insane. And it's orange. It looks good. Okay, I'm like, I'm bad at the game. I keep forgetting things. What is, what is this elite task I just got done? Hitting them where it hurts. Just finish off a demonic gorilla with a demon bane. That's it? That, that seems a little easy, but anyways, I'm supposed to be trying out the thralls here, but you know, you need to bring the Book of the Dead with you to summon the thralls. I hate that so much. Okay, I have no idea what is wrong with the thralls at demonic gorillas, but the demonic gorillas just start bugging out completely. I lose aggro with them sometimes, and then when the thrall does the last hit, sometimes I can't attack them for like five seconds straight, so... Thralls are completely broken there, however, I will stay on the Arceus spellbook so that I can use the Demonic Offering spell because it gives a ton of prayer XP. I think it's like almost 600 prayer XP per three, so like 200 prayer XP per Demonic Gorilla. It's, it's great. I'm so sorry. I missed a drop. I was trying to figure out how to do the uh, replay buffer on OBS. I just messed it up completely. I'm a boomer, okay? Someone's going to need to direct me to a guide on it or something, but... We got another monkey tail, which is absurd, because it's one of the most rare things you can get from Demonic Gorillas. Uh, I'm not complaining, though. You guys remember, we finished that Light Ballista once, actually, right here. No, we didn't. Wait, did I never make the Light Ballista? Oh, this is just my second monkey tail. Do I not have all the Ballista pieces? No, we're missing the, uh, the, the something, you know, the thing. Wait, no, we're missing nothing. The heavy frame is the only thing we don't have. Wait, we can make a Ballista! Hold up! Okay, I'm pretty sure I've never made a ballista before. You have to combine it in a certain order, and I don't know the order, so I'm just going to trial and error it till we get there. And now I have the monkey tail. There we go. We've got a light ballista on the hardcore Iron Man whenever he stops fiddling with his hands. There we go. What a Chad look this is. So now all we need is another spring, another uh, limbs, and the heavy frame. And then we've got ourselves a heavy ballista as well. Pretty nice collection item. How much is this bad boy worth? 
less than half a mil and yeah, okay oh my god there it is look at that loop beam i didn't even realize i had those turned on i thought i'd turn them off actually because i wasn't sure if they'd look good but hey you guys let me know what you think you like the loop beams you don't like the loop beams there's our last sunite shard absolutely spooned here i'm not going to complain 800 kc and we've gotten four pretty reasonably lucky that's like 33% uh, lucky or something like that because it's like one in 300 for each of these you guys do the math I don't do math these days so let's go turn this into a tormented bracelet and now nobody can bully me for using bear rose gloves in my mage setup got to show the whole process for dramatic effect just pretend I'm one of those youtubers that does crazy over edits on everything on runescape to make it look really cool especially this XP drop oh also a little pro tip to all you gamers out there especially the Iron Man. Just bring one of your Zenite shards at a time here. You don't want to end up making multiple of these bracelets or something like that because all is like always the option selected here. It's very dangerous. So there we go. Zenite bracelet. Wow, those stats suck. We better imbue this. Here we go. What? Oh, I don't have 20 blood runes. Jeez, what kind of scam game are we playing here? Let's imbue it. The Tormented Bracelet, a 5% damage bonus and a plus 10 magic bonus, which is four higher than the Barrow's Gloss. Plus, it has a prayer bonus of two. Pretty insane. Let's look at how this looks on the character. Uh, wait, what? I've got the bracers on, right? And then I put the Tormented on. You ready? And it only goes on that wrist. What a scam. To be fair, this thing does look like an expensive, like, Gucci watch or something like that. It's kind of a flex. And now we get to do the most satisfying thing ever. We get to block the Black Demon's task because we do not need to do them anymore. That is such a great feeling. And Dirt, let's see what we got next. Rune Dragons. I really, really want to do these tasks, but unfortunately, I just, uh... I don't have a Dragon Hunter Lance yet, so we're not going to do that. Let's see. If we could get something great, like Greater Demons, I could finally go do Krill and at least get the Zami Spear, maybe some God Sword Shards. But alas, we get Red Dragons, and I can't turn down Prayer XP. Ooh, a Necreal task. Now, I'm going to be changing things up with my Necreals a little bit, at least for this one task. I'm going to do them in the Slayer Tower. I know that sounds absolutely like heresy. I've been barraging Necreals since the day I was born. Well, at least since the Catacombs of Karen came out, but it's actually pretty good for Irons to go kill these in the Slayer Tower now, not only because they obviously have pretty good drops in the Slayer Tower, way more herb seeds than you get in the Catacombs, but you get Prayer XP from the Ashes they drop. So I want to see how much Prayer XP we get from a full Necreal's task, and uh, just see if I want to make the switch over here. It might not be permanent, maybe it will, we'll see. So we're about halfway through this Necreal's task, and I think it's a good time to show off the statistics. Look at this, nearly 50,000 XP per hour. Probably would be 50,000 if I didn't have to bank at one point, because I'm getting too many Alks. If I brought the Explorer's Ring, we wouldn't have the bank. It'd definitely be over 50k per hour. And I'm not, you know, going super hard, piety flicking or anything like that. I'd just chill, ultimate strength, protect from melee, rapid heal because the death spawns still do deal damage to you. And yeah, this task is nice. Now, one thing to note is from each of these ashes, I get almost 200 XP. I think it's 195 XP each ash or something like that. And I get 105 Slayer XP per Necreal. Meaning that you literally get more prayer XP from this task than you do slayer XP. So prayer is almost like a passive skill now for hardcores and potentially irons if you do want to do this method. It's a... Uh it's pretty chill, and like I said, it's literally passive over time, so kudos to you future hardcores that don't have to go through the hell that us past ones did. There's the end of one task, 47.8 thousand prayer XP. On a hardcore? This is busted. Just wanted to document, what is that, 19 herbs in one patch? We're gaming. Okay, fine. We'll go do some God Wars. I can hear you all typing away. Wow, you nerd, you're max now. Where's your Where's your uh, Bandos uh, tacits? Well, you know, I don't have them. Okay, because I've, yeah. I'd, I'm, a, I'm a pussy, okay? All right, here we go. First Bandos trip I've done in a long time. I really have not done the melee method in a long time at Bandos. You know, I just... It's just been a long time. I usually use the mage method, and now I'm going to maybe try to learn the range method with the bow of Faradhine on my main... So let's see how this goes. Hopefully well. Well, first trip was three kills. I, I missed almost every attack with this poor little tentacle. I know it's not the best weapon in the game, but it's all I got right now. So I guess three kill trips will probably be the norm here. And uh, that was like 10 minutes of fighting the boss. Plus it probably takes like five minutes to get kill count. So we're looking at like 12 kills an hour, maybe 15 if I get some lucky trips. This is going to be quite a grind. Uh, I don't know if I'm going straight for like tacits or chest plate or anything in this video but we're gonna do this for a little bit wow that was a great one what was that a 
five or is that a six kill trip? Let me look at our stats. We got nine. That was a six kill trip with an insanely lucky last kill. I didn't risk it. Like, I never got chanced or anything crazy like that. But I did kind of uh, play it fast and loose there. But that's okay because now we're at 10 Grardor kill count in just two trips. Absolutely amazing. You've got to be kidding me, dude. What? What is this, dude? We haven't gotten a single God Sword shard and we have half the hilts in the game. You, oh my god. I, I almost want to go for all hilt. Like, maybe we should just leave Bandos so that we'll have no god items except for hilts. I, I literally don't know what to say. I'm not I'm not milking this clip. I swear to god, I'm not just sitting here trying to extend the video time. I'm just speechless. What, what do you even say to something like this? First, we get two stale baguettes. Now we have a Bandos hilt. Uh, 21 kill count. Alright. Okay, seriously though, I've, I've not even gotten a single god sword shard. But I have half the hilts. Like, look at this. We got the Zami hilt at, like, 4 kill count. And now we got the Bandos one at 21 kill count. I mean, they look great. They look even great uh, attached to a God Sword as well. But I just don't have any shards. I mean, look at this. God Sword shard, nothing. I mean, I got some Hallowed Crystal shards. But, yeah. I, I don't know what to say about this. Well, there's 30 kill count at General Grardor. I think that's where I'm going to wrap things up for now. I want to wait till the next video to really start focusing on PVMing. I mean, we got a Tormented Bracelet. We got a Bandos Hilt. Like, what? This has been a crazy video. All I expected to do in this was max and maybe maybe do a little bit of stuff, but I feel like that is pretty huge. In the next video, expect a lot more PVM. I kind of want to get into Commander Ziliana. I mean, with the Twisted Bow, you absolutely shred through her, and getting a Ceridome and God Godsword would be amazing. That would mean I have no more excuses not to go for the Infernal Cape. It's pretty much the only excuse I have left. I mean, after that, what? I've got the Twisted Bow. I mean, I guess I don't have, like, a Kodai Wand or something, but I'm not going to wait till I have that good of gear to do the Infernal. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you're still enjoying the series, make sure to show the support down below. Let me know what you guys think about it and what kind of content you want to see me do on the Hardcore because I've been thinking a lot about going for Frank 1 Collection Log on Hardcores, on the unofficial high scores, of course, since there are no official high scores for the Collection Log. But when, since this panel came out, man, I've just wanted to fill this up. It looks so nice. It's beautiful. Anyways, I appreciate you all. I hope you have a fantastic day, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.